Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Right then, guys. Welcome back to my blind playthrough of Dark Souls 2. And there's been something different. So you might notice that the draw distance is not quite as good as it was yesterday. And the reason for that is this is the Xbox 360 version of the game. The console of choice for me, hence why I'm doing it. And what I've done is I've created the same character. I've played all the way back up to where we were. I've alleviated some of the mistakes I made by killing certain NPCs that didn't give me anything. You know, I haven't used my bonfire ascetic yet, so I can use it on something good. And uh, we're pretty much exactly where I was. And last night, I really wanted to keep playing, but obviously, because people want to see a blind playthrough, I couldn't explore anywhere. So I decided to, to just run around the places we'd already been and see if I could get some good drops, find some secrets, you know, find some hidden doors and passages. And one of the things I realized really quickly was enemies don't seem to drop the upgrade materials. And at this moment in time, there seems to be a finite amount of them. So I played for a, a few hours last night after I stopped recording and I have still yet to get better equipment because I can't put my sword any higher than plus five, which is really strange for a Dark Souls or a Souls game. And I'm hoping that it's ignorance of my part and I don't know how to play yet, but it's worrisome. Another thing to note, I do not have the the chess piece that dropped from the giant sentinels down in Hyde's tower because this, you know, drop is bullshit and I didn't get one. So I'm using this sexy armor, which I really like. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Hyde's. We're going to take on Ornstein again. We're going to see what we can do, see if we can actually kill him this time. And then we're going to go for the Ruin Sentinels. But before we do either of those things, we're going to use the Bonfire Ascetic and we're going to see what it does in Cardinal's Tower. Because I'm really curious to fight the first boss again. And because I've been trying to quickly get back to where I was, I have missed some stuff, so some things will be missing. It's just, it is what it is, guys. I was really tempted to continue on the PlayStation, but one of the big differences between this version and, and PS3 is frame rate. The frame rate is night and day different, which is really sad for PlayStation 3 owners because Dark Souls 1 was the superior version on the PlayStation because it performed better than the 360. Obviously, the PC version will always perform the best because it's PC. Be oh, okay. So I killed her and she drops a covetous silver serpent ring plus one, are. which gives you more souls, I guess. Here we go. I, I killed all the NPCs, man, because I thought you could just bring them back with a gravestone, but you can't. All it does is allow you to talk to them, so... Bit of a mistake on my part, but this is going to be real dangerous in this area because the swordsmen here, they do so much damage, it's, it's not even amusing how dangerous they are. But luckily enough, I am, you know, strong-ish for this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, massive damage. Massive damage. We're going to be blocking a lot until we get to the boss. And we don't even have to go that way, but I wanted to fight those guys. Oh. That thing can't be the dried finger that I mentioned, because there is a dried finger. I wonder what that's meant to look like. Like E.T.'s fingers? Because even when you've got like a high-res view of it, it still doesn't really look like fingers. So, we'll do that again, shall we? Uh-oh. That's stamina. But the cool thing about this feature is it repopulates the drops and it's one of the only ways I can think of intelligently farming because if you've got an area that's got you know titanite shards or large titanite shards they will come back as long as they're not in you know some kind of chest 
So that's probably one of the only ways to do what I've been thinking about doing. Maybe it brings the crystal lizards back. That'd be cool. Fire arrows. Well, well, we'll be able to... It does! So yeah, this is essentially a farming technique. Oh, that missed. Come on, game. This is stupid. That... I really disagree with how the swords work on this game at times. The detection just is really off. And that did happen in Dark Souls, but not like that. You know, there's a legitimate issue. This is a weapon. Is this still here? Yeah. Interesting. But I just want to kill the boss. Because I know that the boss is going to be tougher. But if I fight him the way I, f I showed you guys how to fight him, uh, he should be just as simple. As long as I get patient and I don't make any mistakes. It might take a while though because he's got a ton of life. I still haven't figured out how to get there with those salamanders. I keep looking at that thinking I can walk off the elevator but I always forget to try. And I still don't have a key for this. Which really sucks because I like keys. They're awesome. But here we go, guys. Last giant 2.0. So if he touches me, I'm dead. Whoa. He's got quite a lot of life. He expected that. I wonder if he's identical as before. We'll soon find out. Whoa. Clippy. Very clippy, Mr. Giant. So you can get three hits off on his leg. If you're fast enough. And then he'll stomp. But I'm not going to take any risks. Because I just want to see what he drops. That's all I want to know, bro. Look at him. What's he doing, man? He's not fighting right. He's meant to swing for me when I run at him. And then... There we go. Then he stomps. Oh, no. Maybe not. So, swing again. Right. It's going okay. This. Just chip him and down and see where we get. Right. Is he going to stomp? No. So, three hits you can do, but I'm avoiding it for obvious reasons because I want to be really careful. Uh, you can be much more aggressive than I'm being, obviously. But it's, it's a choice, guys. Just like your sexuality to some pol politicians. It's a choice. Right, that wasn't clever. And I missed. Come on then, asshole. Pretty drunk, this guy. Pretty drunk. Still hasn't stumped. Should have done a third hit. I don't know why I'm hesitating. I guess I'm just kind of on edge. Which is understandable. This is... I think the Bonfire Ascetic is, is New Game Plus. And New Game Plus is... is obviously pretty scary when you're not in it. This guy is... This guy's pretty much cream puff. Just don't let him hear me. Call him that. Oh, finally! The stomp! So now he can do an attack when I'm at range, but we don't want to see it. So we're going to try and avoid it. But this is simple AI exploitation. You know, it's video games 101. Find the pattern that loops or breaks the boss and makes him incredibly dealable. Three stomps, then he turns, then we repeat. Swing, thank you. My only fear here is sometimes enemies have such a wide swing that they'll clip you on the back edge of the swing. And it's. it always feels really unfair. That was silly. I thought I could kill him, and I got kind of greedy. That can cost you 
your life if you're not careful. But we got him. Does he give the same amount of souls? Do we get an extra 10k? We get 20k and a second soul. Interesting. Cool. So we got twice as many souls, but no item. So what we'll do is, we'll continue with the game and find the places we haven't seen. And then when we're a little bit stronger, we'll come back and we'll take on the Pursuer. Who I fought earlier, and he's not too bad, he just, he takes a beating, that's the big thing. He takes a lot of damage. So if you're not very good at dodging and you don't have a good shield, it can be a, a much more challenging fight than it needs to be. But I don't really have too many things to use my money on at this moment, so I'm probably going to put it into some levels, get myself past level 50, because I feel like the Ruin Sentinels are a give or take around that level. Because it's a 3v1, so... It's pretty dangerous. Um. Yeah, I need to be careful. I want to get that damn Crystal Lizard. So, we're gonna... You see what I see? I wondered what that place was. I even mentioned that this is where people were gonna PvP. There's a red phantom dude. I wonder who it is. Oh, it looks like the guy I killed from the beta well this should be interesting because this is a one shot situation this guy's going to massively damage me and I'm probably not going to do anything but backstab him yeah welcome to PvP fella oh my goodness a gank that is not cool that is really not ah no I have 20,000 souls Oh, ladder combat. Let's get him up ladder. Oh, this is ridiculous. You can't climb the ladder if I'm on the ladder. That guy's dual wielding. Right, you. I took my bow off. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Guy hurts a ton. I do have a lot of poison, because poison is the new thing. Poison is so dangerous, people. It is insanely dangerous. Look at this shit! Whoa, he just completely guard crushed me with dual wield. <laughs> wow. I'm poisoning him, bitch. I'll show you bitch tactics. You're going to use bitch tactics on me. So, confirmed, new game plus, red phantoms that weren't there before. It's kind of cool. He's not cool. He's kind of cheesy, but... That other guy will be fun to fight, because he doesn't just guard break you with really quick weapons. <laughs> so, right. We're going to put my bow on, because I love it. And then we're going to put my poison arrows on, because poison is so powerful. Then, we're going to put... Come on. And we'll round two this bitch. If I don't get one shot by Mr. Halberd, which I could do. Well, start as we mean to go on, eh? Souls back. Yeah, new game plus damage on new game character who's really not that armoured. It's always a three hitter. The... Right. I should probably do something about you. You just kind of stood there and let me kill him, so I'm happy. But you're not a very good friend. So, 
Where the fuck is he? Or is he just super? Oh, there you go. That guy's thick as shit, man. He's trying to fight no one. Dumb. Uh, how long has he taken to poison you, bitch? Ah, uh, he must be immune. Oh, I'm using the wrong arrows. My bad. It's two different triggers now for arrows. Not the biggest fan of it. Gotta be said. Yeah! Watch this poison damage. Watch this damage. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Fuck me, he's so fast. My only fear is if this guy can heal. Because if he can heal, then it makes this a little bit less impressive. Hi, bitch. What are you doing? Oh my god! You scared me then, bro. Big old giant man. A very large sword. I do apologize, I'm playing like a bitch, guys, but I'm not really able to do anything but one shot by standard hollows. These guys are businessmen. What are you fucking doing? Oh, he's coming! <laughs> oh, I should sprint. Motherfucker. I knew we would meet here one day, Vader. Right, he's poisoned. So, we should, if we avoid him, ring around the roses and what have you, should be able to cream him a little bit, cream cheese him. Cheesy, cheesy. I love cheesy poos, you love cheesy poos. Take my poison in your cheesy poos. This is aim. Okay, I need to... Shall we man up? Try and stun like a bitch. Oh, fucking hell. What if he respawns? What does he drop? He drops note? Gosh, you racists. Why would he drop nothing? God damn racist. And then we'll go and fight his friend. A little bit more legit than that. If we can. Watch him come back. Did he even give me souls? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy cowering like a girl. And wasting all my uh, poison arrows, which I can't buy them back until I find that big fat dude again who moves in true Dark Souls fashion. Yeah, I don't like you. You hurt a lot. No, he don't come back. Alright, big lad. Wow! Oh, he's trying to guard break me. Is he using his Vi? No, it's not his Vi. I think it's the Drangleic. Ooh. Alright, what's my parry timing? Jump attack. Look at this. This is cool, man. They fight so much more interestingly. Yeah, that parry timing's horrible. Fucking hell. He's going for it. If this was Dark Souls, dude, you'd be on your ass. But it's not. It's Dark Souls 2. So I'm gonna be kinda cheesy. Do you think he's gonna parry me? Oh, you see the backstep. Cheeky backstep. Come here. Rolls away. Big shield. Roll. Roll attack. Okay. Roll. Roll attack. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Like, I know I could try and parry it, but it's gonna one shot. Ooh. Or a backstab, if I'd have gone for it, if I weren't a girl. Big hit. Second big hit. Third big hit. What if I could set up parrying? Oh! Oh! Goodness me. Might have worked, actually, if my parry timings weren't shit. If this guy drops the key to that door, we're in business. Ah, 
And of course, he's very gifted at mob. Ooh. Oh. Can I do an old king? Shield break. Whoa. So that didn't take my stamina off. Didn't seem to put me in a guard break status where my flailed a bit, but he was able to hit through my shield afterwards. Weird. Time to fight him though, we'll, we'll give him a good shot. And we'll poison him a little bit. <laughs> this is crazy, this. I can't imagine the knowledge I'm gonna need to be able to put up with the difficulty of some parts of this game. But it's gonna have to be a lot faster than it is at this moment because um, it is, it's not easy, guys. And every, a lot of people's biggest fear was that this game was going to be really easy. And the one thing it isn't at this moment is easy. At all. Even the stuff that looks easy, ain't easy. It's just, it looks easy because you're not playing. And as soon as you get your hands on the control, you're going to notice that you'll die in some areas that you really feel you shouldn't have died in. But that's what Dark Souls does. <clears throat> it humbles people. And the people that it doesn't humble turn into really snobby assholes. But that's not the Axel's fault, that's just society's fault. <clears throat> My fear with this guy is he swings so fast, I actually think he has the advantage in swing speed. Which I, I don't agree with all that much. Oh wow. Look at that, man. I can't do that combo that fast. Because the button inputs just don't work sometimes. Goes for another push. Alright. I want him to commit to an attack so I can throw him at him. And... the symbol of the king. I have not noticed that it said that. How aggressive this guy is. Spin. Alright. It's going to take forever this because I'm not... Oh! Yeah, I think I might have to leave this guy because... Have you ever seen an NPC this aggressive? Ever! And I'm wasting my awesome things. Into push. Last time he did that into push. Wow. Fuck it, let's try and do some backstabbing. Look how much he hits though. It's it's hilarious watching this to see what they did to the great swords in Dark Souls, and they've gone and done this. <laughs> this dude is out striking a long sword with a fucking huge sword. I couldn't get my shield up. I'll use some life gems though. I'm not against using them against something worth it. Should really do Estus. I want to guard break him when he does that. <laughs> it's so cheesy. So fucking cheesy, but I love it. These hits, man. I need to get that stamina back. I can get him again. I could have got him then. So he's he's definitely susceptible to the old backstab, the old cheeky backstab. But oh, I really wanted to do it then, but the white dudes have put me off. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Should have been. I could be dead now. Oh, he did break my guard before. It just, it was so fast I didn't realise that that's what he'd done. Look at him, he's fucking, he's really clever for AI. I'm turtling and he's doing the anti-turtle move. It, it's genius, really. I should try it on him. But when I try and do it, it doesn't work. See?
But the AI has an advantage where all they have to do is press a fucking circle and they get their move, whereas we have to rely on the flimsiness of analogs. Ah, that was it. I don't know what that was. That's very strange. That's an opening. It's a definite opening. Oh. Look at him go. This is a cool fight, this. I'm insanely underleveled for it. Still cool. That is not an opening. You need to wait for him to, to waste his stamina. That might be one. I keep luring him into... I think he was out of stamina. Come on. You waste that stamina, bro. Good to push, to the push. Turtling. Whoa! That was different. Oh! He's on to me. This is tough. I'm being a bitch. But I don't have a choice. This guy's harder than the bosses so far. The fuck is that about? That might have been the opening. I don't know about that one. He swings a few times and then... Because my fear is, is if I get too close to him and he hits me with a guard break and it's it's mandatory damage at that point because I can't recover from it. Here. He's going to try and push? No. That was one. That was one. If he does that again, we punish that. Three hits. Three hits and then stops. Do something fancy, bro. Stop being such a bitch. Oh! Oh! Oh, that might have been it. Look at him. He's, I must be pissing him off. Can you imagine if this was a person? Like, he'd be so fucked at this point. It's not a person because the servers aren't on. Whoa! What was that? Yeah! Chipping him down. The old chip and pin technique. Push? No. God, he must be fucking mad. Must be mad at this point. Whoa, that's a trap. It's like, come on, bro, take my back. You want to, just gonna keep fishing the back, so take my back, bro. You wanna go, bro? Fuck me like a man. No, sorry, I'm gonna be a bitch. Look, he's nice. Oh, I hate backstabs. So does he. That's why he's not doing it to me. Cause he's a he's a manly fighter, and I'm a bitch. Two hand, when he two hands is easier to predict. That was unfortunate. He's having a couple of lock on problems. What is he doing? Oh no. He knew I was doing it. He knew I was fishing it. Look, he's getting so angry. Could have hit him then, but. That would have hit. That would have definitely hit. Twenty-minute fight, guys, of turtle in nonsense. Cause I'm such a bitch. <laughs> he's turtling too now, though. He's getting a little nervous. He knows I know his weakness. This might be a good opportunity to throw the darts at him, but I don't really want to waste him on on this sir chivalrous knight guy. Oh, he's doing R1 to R2 combos. He goes. He knows how to play. We'll chip him down, though. What is he doing? That probably were a backstab, because his AI is having... Cons one, two... I expect a third, but he only does two. Oh! That was clever. Barely got my shield up then. Whoa, he's getting pissed. He's got pissed. He got pissed. He got pissed. Let's be friends, bro. Do not do the chain multi-hit attack nonsense because it's not fair and it's almost instant. What is this game? It's like he doesn't rebound off my shield at all. I should punish that. 
Oh, range! Wish my range were as good as yours. Giant sword man. Fucking hell. Got the epic fight of the King's Seal. This is it. You're watching it. You're witnessing it. That's the backstabber, Junty. And I fucked it up! Oh! Touche, sir. Touche.